hello guys welcome back to another video in the previous video we have learned about one hack using sc 16 yeah, where we have modified some records in a standard table by using sc 16 interface and debugging mode we also found where we can track these changes if you haven't seen it please go through the previous video and have a look at it the next thing that i want to share is testing BAPIs or fms using sequence option this is a very interesting option given in a sc 37 transaction where we can execute multiple FMs in a sequence. Whenever you want to test a BAPI or an FM, we actually go to SC37 transaction and we click on F8 button. We'll provide the inputs, the transaction will get executed. So that actually restricts us to execute FM only once. If you want to execute further FMs from where we left, it is not possible. So there is an option called sequence, which we can use to execute multiple uh, BAPIs at a time and the example is suppose there is a BAPI bank create whenever you perform a bank create and you have to do the changes commit changes and also as soon as the, the data is saved we have to send notify to the bank that the, your bank is successfully created this is a very basic example that I have taken before we actually execute this example, let me try to execute in a normal way. Here I am in SC37. When I click on F8, this is how I can execute. So I can provide a bank, sorry, a country key here and also a bank key, which is eight character long. I will say you can provide other information as well. Now, if I execute this, I don't see any errors. So hopefully my bank is created so let me check in the database the b and k is my table i'll specify my country which i have just created and also the bank key i'll provide it here f8 still i don't see the record so in order to perform this transaction successfully i had to execute bappy transaction commit so but i cannot do come back and again do bappy transaction commit right because the session is already over so this is a place where we can use this option called execute test sequences here you can perform number of fms at a time so i can specify bappy underscore bank create and also bappy underscore transaction commit now let me execute in this way the a country key bank key also i will enter now let me execute this there are no errors when i come back here now this my control will take me to the second bappy test environment here i can provide x weight as x now if i do f8 what are the bank that i've created i have given the bank here as 28 now if i execute this successfully my bank key is created this is how you can make use of execute test sequence not just two fm you can execute as many fms as you want using this option okay this is how you can use sequence to test a different BAPIs at a time so that will make sure that your transaction goes smoothly and you can start writing the code once you are confident that these fms are executing successfully that is a good practice before you write a code and make sure all the FMs that you are going to use are working perfectly with the data that you have. This is all fine. You have created a sequence like this and a bank, sorry, uh, transaction commit and you executed this. Let me create one more thing. I just want to share another tip here. Make sure these are eight characters. Okay, now execute this no errors come back i'll provide x fate come back when i see my data here 38 so data is created now i want to save this sequence so that whenever i come back if i want to execute the same sequence i can directly make use of that sequence and directly execute again without providing manually all the BAPIs again so let me save this save sequence click on enter now when you go to function module execute test sequence using this button you can get the sequence that you have saved earlier
double click here and you will get all the bappies which you have saved earlier and you can start testing right away i hope you like this hack and you can use this tip for your development before you actually code so this is always a good idea to test what are the fms that you are going to use in your development it will make sure your development won't get stuck hope you like this video thank you so much for watching